So Mark, what do we mean by numeric keypad bindings? Rory, these bindings are on the numeric keypad the, uh, that shows up on, on the larger keyboards. So if you have a laptop and you don't have this, uh, this option really doesn't apply to you. But if you have a, an extended keyboard, then you do have these keys. And I find a lot of times when I'm coding, in fact, in, in almost 30 years of coding, I, I really never use these keys at all for coding. And so one of the options that we have in Code Rush is to actually use these keys for common features of the product. The ones that you see here are the ones I'll demonstrate. So if you choose this button to add numeric keypad bindings, you'll get bindings automatically to these keys. The plus and minus are for selection increase and decrease. This enter key is for jumping to symbols, which is something that you do frequently. There's also a jump to menu right next to it, which is a, has a wider range of options you can jump to. And the code rush refactor menu is the big fat zero key. And so I'll, let me just close this down and I'll, I'll demonstrate some of these. So we'll start with selection increase. So I'm just, I'm just hitting the plus key and I'm increasing the selection by logical blocks. And I hit the minus key and travel backwards through that all the way back down again. So it's a nice, nice and intuitive plus to make it bigger, minus to reduce again. Right, and this is useful if you want to do things like refactor, for example. You want to grab an expression or you want to grab a block of code. You can grab it pretty quickly and easily and then do something like I want to now maybe extract a method or maybe I want to embed this in a try-catch, for example. I certainly find it much more simple to use that than the sort of standard control shift and up and down, constantly correcting characters or going control right and left to the end of stuff or using the mouse where you can just miss characters all the time. This is, here is a start point. Give me the next logical block. Give me the next logical block. Right and it's just accurate, you know, much quicker. Yes, it is. And and so that's nice, right? So like I can be um, trying to find something with, well, here I can do this as an example. I want to copy these parameters, right? It's just a couple hits of that plus key. If I overshoot it, it's okay. I can just hit the minus key to go back. So it's very fast to get what you want, then you can copy it to the clipboard. So plus and minus are excellent. There are other shortcuts for that. If you don't have an extended keyboard, control W widens and control shift W goes back. The enter key on the right is for jumping to symbol, something that we do frequently. So I might type in a portion of the symbol, and there you can see uh, the suggestions that are there. I can uh, type in, for example, just the uppercase letter, just the uppercase letters like G-U-R, and I can see the suggestions there for me. And you can see it's highlighting those pieces that it's matching. I can type in get and see all of those pieces. I can also tap the control key here on the jump to symbol, and then I can filter very nice. By these different options. So I can, right now I've got only looking at methods, but I can say let's look at properties and events. And I can hit these shortcut keys as well to toggle these, um, the scope and the types and the members and the access that I'm interested in. And then tapping the control key again will hide that hint. So what we're talking about though is one key access to find any symbol. Yes. Which is considerably better than sort of holding down control, alt, shift, and then some random key someplace. That's right. Okay, that's very nice. Okay, and then right next to that, that delete key, that small little delete key, that's the jump to menu. And so it's a contextual jumping menu that allows you to go to different members, symbols, different overloads of a method, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. To the left of that, we have the Code Rush refactor key. So I can hit that and I'll see different Code Rush options. Here you can see Code Cleanup, Organizing Members, Extract Method, and Embed Selection is in here as well. So things that I frequently do when I want to modify code, for example, uh, I can access through this menu. So those are a lot of very useful facilities, all very different in their areas, but again, great jumping off points. So some for exploring code, from, some for selecting code, some for actually actively affecting your code. Things you'll find yourself doing almost all the time, certainly I do, and by having a quick access to them on an area of the keyboard that otherwise isn't obviously used that often, it is a great benefit. It is. Fantastic. If you want to learn more about Code Rush and all its features, check out the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching.